So today's Learning Boost is all about how we can use uh, simple board games and social games uh, to develop numeracy skills uh, with your child at home. Uh, a lot of these games are designed uh, in a way that there will be lots of opportunities for your child to count, to recognise numbers uh, and also to recognise number patterns as well. So we're going to talk through uh, a number of different uh, games, but there's lots of these style of games uh, on the market. Lots of different companies uh, make them and they're great uh, for your children. So uh, here's one where instead of a dice or something like that, we use a spinner. It's a great uh, idea of uh, getting the concept of random chance for your child, which is an important mathematical concept that if they spin it, it could land on any of them. It also en encourages matching, so we've landed here on a moon, we're going to find a moon card, so actually pairing up and matching similar items again is important. And then for this one, we're making all the loop to loops of a rocket, and throughout the game your child can come back and keep counting up the loops. One, two, three, four, five, they might want to count yours to see who's got more, you can use that language, who's got the most, um, and who's in the lead as well. All of this is great uh, numeracy going on just as part of the game. It's really motivating as well for your child. Um, and here's uh, some uh, simple snakes and ladders game. Now, you don't have to go out and buy one. You could also just draw on big bits of paper, make your own boards. That's often just as exciting for the children too. This is a great game because you're rolling a dice, they're recognising the numbers or counting the dots, and then they're having to count on their spaces, one, two, to decide where they are on the board. And here we've got a game where we use a spinner instead of dice. This is great because it's encouraging your child to recognise the actual numeral or the number written down uh, to see what it is. Three. And then they're actually trying to find the dog with the right number of spots. So they're having to count to see, has this one got three spots? No, this one has here. They turn it over and they're collecting together bones. Again, throughout the game, you can stop and start and go, how many have you got? One, two, three, four encouraging them to count and modelling that yourself. And for younger children, uh, there's lots of really good games as well. Some of them don't have numbers on the dice but have colours instead. Uh, this is still really important that the children can match the colours, find the correct piece, put the game together, and it's all those social skills of taking turns, being able to win and lose, congratulate each other, that's just as important for our children to learn as well. So here's just a few examples of games which are really good, high quality experiences for bringing uh, numeracy into your home uh, and great for homework sort of tasks too. We'll see you next time.